I'm Richard Grossman, and I'm a longtime healer. I work with Amazonian shamanism, Amazonian plants, as well as Chinese medicine. Of the world scriptures start off with the idea of the primal word, the primal sound, the primal vibration. And, you know, they're not really being metaphorical. They're not really using analogies there. They're talking about the sound that exists underneath everything. You know, we have, we're in nature now, sort of, we have birds and leaves falling off of the trees. All of these things are sound. Many of the world's traditions, like the Sufis and even the Amazonian shamanism, talks about the dance of life, the dance that happens in every atom, in every molecule in existence. It has a sound. Our ears are not tuned to it. Our ears don't really know how to listen to that sound. Our ears don't know what it is. And so we think that it's an analogy, that it's metaphorical. But no, there's really something inside that's singing right now to you. There's really something inside that's playing beautiful music right now for you. Finding that is part of the human quest. You know, if we look at music coming in here, what's the music doing? Sound healing, we call it. It's an attempt to replicate or to reflect back that inner music. When you hear it, good sound healing music, when you hear it, part of you recognizes it. Part of you recognizes that that sound is a good sound. That sound is a beautiful sound. That sound is something that, you know, makes you take a breath and go, ah, this is nice. So everything is a vibration, everything is movement, everything is the singing of the universe, singing to you. Sound healing just puts it in a way that we recognize. You know, the sound of a flute, the sound of a Tibetan bowl, the sound of a beautiful voice, the sound of a rattle, all of these things open up certain parts of our body. And, you know, the various energy centers in our body respond differently to different sounds, like a didgeridoo can really shake things up in the, you know, gut or the heart level. And shaking it up is a beautiful thing because our bodies are 70% water. And, you know, if you look at the creatures that can communicate over the longest distances, on this planet are whales. They can communicate over hundreds of miles through the water because water is a beautiful, effective conductor of sound. Our bodies, being 70% water, when the sound waves effectively hit our body, the entire inner organ system can receive a massage from that sound, you know, as well as the heart opening up to the sound, as well as the mind focusing on the sound. And so a lot of stuff happens at the same time with this. Um, you know, and it effectively changes the state of the person who, with an open mind and heart, is listening to those sounds. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience under any circumstances. But it's also beautiful in that it leads to a more relaxed, state, an open state, that again allows the body to do its own healing. It's a beautiful thing.